Dave McElhatton, Wendy Takuda, Wayne Walker, and Brian Sussman. This is KPIX Eyewitness News at 6. Good evening. There's a serious health threat at a government building in Richmond. Twelve people working there have come down with pneumonia. One of them has died from a heart attack while in the hospital. Sherry, who is live in Richmond, to tell us what health investigators are doing about it. Sherry? Well, Mac, a federal spokeswoman says that one woman who died of that heart attack died on Monday, and county health officials have just confirmed that tissue samples are now being taken, and they're trying to determine what caused her death and if Legionnaire's disease could have been the cause. The building here on Nevin Street has not been shut down yet, but the workers have now left for the day. Health and federal OSHA inspectors are inside at the moment, taking air samples and checking the heating and the ventilation systems. The Center for Disease Control is also on board, which means the federal government is making this investigation a top priority. With 12 cases of pneumonia, a union representative said it could be a fluke or it could be a sign of a bigger problem like Legionnaire's disease. And it will be 24 to 36 hours to get the test results. At this point, it doesn't necessarily have the classic configuration of a Legionnaire problem, but, but that's why we're concerned. We don't want had to have undue fear and you know with people but we also we want the building shut down if there's if there's any indication that it might be that they need to let us out and uh, do some kind of ventilation system type thing to air the building out at least you know maybe friday saturday and sunday or what have you whatever they need to do i mean this is something we all are concerned concerned with and if we can take it home to our families and that's right. even worse you know and at this point, officials don't know what they're dealing with yet, and that's why they're taking the air samples. 1,200 federal employees work in the building behind me, Departments of Health and Human Services and also Social Security Administration. A spokeswoman for Social Security says uh, the cluster of pneumonia cases was discovered and finally pieced together on Monday. Apparently, the first case surfaced about a month ago, with, but with people calling in sick, they finally figured out that they had 12 cases. And just finally, let me give you an update that three people are still in the hospital. Again, one person has has died and eight more people are at home and recuperating. Again, the building is still open as well and investigators are taking tests inside to see exactly what has gone wrong. Reporting live from Richmond, I'm Sherry Hu. Back to you, Mac. All right. Thank you, Sherry. Wendy? Well, again, we don't know for sure this is an outbreak of Legionnaires disease, but Dr. Nancy Snyderman joins us now on call to explain why Legionnaires is suspected and also to tell us more about the disease itself. Well, you'd have to be very foolhardy to see a cluster like this and not consider Legionnaires. So one thing that's making Legionnaires a possibility in the Richmond case is the way the sickness seems to have spread around the Social Security offices. Legionnaires is caused by a bacteria that thrives in the air circulation systems of large buildings. Bacteria are spread through air ducts and eventually inhaled, and then it's passed on from person to person. The very first recorded outbreak of Legionnaires happened 15 years ago at a hotel that was hosting an American Legion convention in Philadelphia, and that's obviously how the disease got its name. More than 200 people at that time who were staying at the hotel came down with pneumonia. 34 of those people died, and that's why health investigators right now want to find out what the culprit is and end it before any more people die in this situation. How do you treat it, and how quickly do you have to get to it? Well, it's very easily treated once you've diagnosed it, usually an in-hospital stay, IV fluids, and several antibiotics have worked. The best one, which is erythromycin, which is a very inexpensive bacteria, all hmm. you have to do is identify it first. Ah, so that's the catch. That's it. Okay, thanks okay, a lot, doctor.